You've heard of GDP, but have you ever wondered what that number is or where it comes from? Gross domestic product, or GDP, is an essential way for people to understand what's happening in the economy. And that information comes from us, the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis. Data is our job. Helping you understand the economy is our mission. As a federal statistical agency, we provide accurate, objective, and timely economic data to help businesses, governments, and people everywhere make informed decisions. GDP is just the beginning. We also produce statistics that can help you understand people's income and savings, government spending, corporate profits, and industry trends. We can tell you about your home county's economy or U.S. foreign trade. Let us tell you more about our numbers. We'll start with GDP. GDP measures market value of the goods and services produced within the United States. We report GDP for each year and each quarter. To estimate GDP and related statistics, BEA's economists use thousands of data points. Many come from federal agencies, such as the Census Bureau, that conduct economic surveys. Some data comes from other federal agencies, like the Treasury, from state and local governments, and from trade associations and private businesses. BEA conducts its own surveys of multinational businesses to collect data not available elsewhere. For each quarter of the year, BEA estimates quarterly U.S. GDP three times over three months. The first, or advanced, estimate comes quickly, less than a month after the quarter ends. More complete and detailed data become available in time for BEA's second and third estimates so we can sharpen the accuracy of the statistics each month. With the third estimate of U.S. GDP, industry and state GDP estimates are released in tandem, providing the public with a fuller and timely view of the U.S. economy. We provide statistics adjusted for inflation so you can see rates of growth or decline in the economy all the way back to 1930. You can also see how the U.S. economy compares with economies of other countries that follow international standards for calculating their own GDP. Of course, an economy isn't just production, it's people. We have numbers that help you track how people are faring within the economy. These include monthly statistics on personal income, consumer spending, and the saving rate. How workers are doing is tied to the health of companies. BEA produces statistics on overall U.S. corporate profits, which is a closely watched indicator. We also have statistics by industry, so you can track different industries' growth or decline and their contributions to the larger economy. Maybe you're interested in the economy closer to home. BEA produces state and local numbers too. These include GDP and personal income statistics for states, counties, and metro areas. You can follow the trends in your area and compare its economy with other regions or the nation. If you're thinking on a global scale, check out our international trade and investment statistics. They tell you about the U.S. role in the world economy. We track the nation's balance of payments, including the current account balance. We survey businesses to produce statistics on foreign direct investment in U.S. businesses and on Americans' investment in businesses abroad. We also survey businesses about trade and services, such as travel, computing, and financial services. We team with the Census Bureau to issue monthly reports on U.S. trade and goods and services. We're also researching better ways to understand the role of complicated global supply chains in U.S. production and exports. BEA zooms in for closer looks at special topics such as economic effects of arts and cultural activities like music, art, movies, and museums. Our outdoor recreation report examines how much of the economy is focused on activities like fishing and RVing. Want to know how many people in your state are employed in the outdoor rec industry? This is a place to look. We also have statistics on travel and tourism, the space economy, the digital economy, healthcare, the marine economy, and more. All this data is available at no cost on our website, BEA.gov. Businesses, policymakers, regional development specialists, economists, reporters, 
and anyone who is interested can dig into the data for themselves. Let's take a look at the website. For a quick overview of the most recent statistics, you can start in the news dropdown with economy at a glance. There you'll find a snapshot of national, regional, and international data. That includes GDP, personal income and spending, international trade and investment, and more. For shortcuts to finding data, head to the tools dropdown. For international information, try our country facts pages. Choose a country to see how its economy interacts with the United States through imports and exports, direct investment, and multinational companies and their employment. Are you looking for statistics on your state, county, or metropolitan area? Bear Facts, which stands for BEA Regional Facts, can help you find local GDP, per capita personal income, and industry information with comparisons to the state and nation. Do you need industry data? Industry Facts is a shortcut to information on industries such as retail trade, mining, or healthcare. Choose an industry to see trends in its output over time and its share of the overall economy. To quickly retrieve and analyze large data sets, check out our API for programmers. On the apps.bea.gov forward slash API website, you can see what data are available, then download both the files and their metadata. Our extensive user guide will answer your questions. You can peruse BEA tables or locate that one stat you need by visiting BEA's interactive tables, where nearly all our data is accessible in one place. You can delve into details and historical trends, make charts and maps, and download. Let's take a closer look at iTables. You'll see five sections on the left-hand side of the website. General, National, Industry, International, and Regional Data. You can hover over each section to see what each section includes. Let's say you're looking for national GDP statistics, or national consumer spending figures, or business investment nationwide. Then click on GDP and Personal Income under the National Data section. Looking for how industries are doing and their contributions to the overall economy? Click on GDP by industry under the industry data section. If you're interested in trade and direct investment statistics between the United States and other countries, then select international transactions for trade and the direct investment options for direct investment data. If you want to see personal income or GDP for your state, metro area, or county, Select GDP and personal income under the regional data section. Those are just a few examples of what we have to offer. For a quick tour, let's explore GDP statistics on a national level. Specifically, let's look up the United States economy's growth rate in a given quarter. Select GDP and personal income under the national data section and then select interactive data tables. You'll see there are a lot of options to choose from. You want Section 1, Domestic Product and Income. Now click on Table 111 for percent change in real or inflation-adjusted GDP. You can see growth rates or declines for GDP by quarter. If you want data for different quarters or even years, click on the Modify icon. Quarterly data goes back to 1947 and annual data goes back to 1929. Here's how you can pull data for different time periods using the Modify button. Let's do years. You can select the box next to first year and select the earliest year of your choice. Next, click the box next to last year and select the most recent year of your choice. You can also gather your information by quarters or annual in the series section. If you selected many years, you'll notice you can take the horizontal bar on the bottom of the table and scroll side to side and compare figures for GDP and its major components over the years. Want to chart the data you pulled? Click the chart button located next to the modify button. After selecting the chart button, you'll automatically see your economic data in the line chart format. You can select a maximum of 10 categories to chart at one time. If you prefer a bar chart, just click the bar chart icon located between category sections and the chart. Also, take notice of the gray and blue line at the very bottom of the chart. 
At the end of the bar, you'll see something that looks like a pause button. Hover over one of those two buttons and drag them to the left or right. This allows you to zoom in and focus on specific years of your choice. The remaining buttons are the download and print button. In the current chart format, these are all grayed out, but don't worry, that's not a glitch. The download and print options are available on the graph itself. If you want to download your chart, just click the arrow in the upper right corner of the chart. This gives you the option to download or save the chart to your computer. To download, share, or print information in the table format, you need to select the table button to get out of the chart format. Next, click the download button. We offer three downloadable formats, Microsoft Excel, Adobe PDF, or CSV format. You can also map your data. Let's get started by selecting GDP and personal income under the regional data section. Then select interactive data mapping. You can see the economic data by state, metro area, or county. Let's find the personal income of some of the counties in Alabama. Since we're searching for economic information by county, let's select personal income and employment by county. Here, we can set the criteria for what we want. Let's leave the state selection on Alabama and we'll leave other preferences as it is. Select the year of your choice, then select next step. Take your cursor and hover over any county of your choice and you'll see personal income figures for that county. You can take that number and compare it to the legend at the bottom of the map. Hover over the down arrow or the download button located in the upper right section of the map and you'll see the three download options for the map. You can also change from the map format to either the chart or table format by clicking on your preferred button. Do you have questions? Check out the FAQs, methodologies, and BEA contact emails on our website or call our customer service line at 301-278-9004. We'll help you find the data you need to better understand the economy. That's what we do at BEA.